these are the faces. These are the faces of our loved ones, and they could be anybody. Addiction doesn't discriminate. Zoe was a wonderful young girl. She was bright, funny, smart, and her school pictures, which is tough because we don't have grade 12. About four weeks after her grandmother passed away, um, her dad, my husband, was diagnosed with a, a rare form of cancer, and I think that catapulted her into um, her trauma. We tried various different organizations to try and get her help. She never was able to participate or there was always waiting lists. People who are in severe addiction, when they ask for help, they need to be able to access that treatment right away. He got the phone call um, from a hospital here in Edmonton to say that um, Zoe had been admitted. And then shortly after that, uh, one of the doctors and nurses came in and they, they essentially told us that it didn't look like there was any brain activity. Losing her was, was devastating. We have so many wonderful memories. Um, she was a soccer player, so we spent a lot, I spent a lot of time on the soccer field with her. A lot of traveling, we did a lot of traveling as a family, so those, those memories of those trips are so, so special to me. Um, for me, honestly, I wish I'd had more time. I don't, I don't think that 18 years was enough. And, um, that's the hardest part for me now, is I just wish that I would have had more time with her. When I need to feel Zoe, I can feel my heart there. That's how I feel her. Because the heart is on your blood pulse point. Families who have people who are using drugs are stigmatized and, and discriminated against. So, you know, you go to your family functions and, you know, people will be talking about people who you use your drugs in a very derogatory manner. And when you have a, a loved one who's, who's using drugs, um, you feel really sort of lost in that too. You don't have a lot of support from family and friends as well. You know, two people in Alberta are dying every day. I think the number is still close to 12 in Canada dying every day. How many people have to die before, you know, something drastic is done? <laughs>